The hypothesis claiming the coronavirus leaked from a Wuhan lab is plausible, and deserves further investigation, a report on the origins of COVID-19 from a US government laboratory said. The study, prepared in May 2020, was received in October 2020 by the State Department, when the department investigated the pandemic's origins, reported the Wall Street Journal, citing people familiar with the classified document. The report comes as questions grow about whether the virus was the result of an accident in a Chinese laboratory or spread through other means. President Joe Biden has ordered the intelligence community to report on the origins in a matter of months. Meanwhile, new COVID-19 cases in many states continue to plummet, even as vaccinations slow. South Dakota's Department of Health reported a dozen new positive coronavirus test results Monday. The new cases brought the statewide total to 124,273, making the new total among the lowest daily reports since the pandemic started. And California on Monday reported a seven-day case rate per 100,000 people of 11, the third lowest tied with Nebraska. But experts told the New York Times that a summer surge could be on the horizon for many summer states, which lag in vaccinations and are already lifting most restrictions. We're just we're not even close to that in the southern states, Dr. Peter Hotez, a vaccine expert at Baylor College of Medicine, told The Times. He said he foresees a new wave in the South because, we're so underachieving in terms of vaccination. Two-thirds of Major League Baseball's 30 teams have been able to relax coronavirus protocols after four additional clubs qualified and raised the total to 20 franchises reaching 85% vaccinations for players and other on-field personnel. Moderna said Monday it has requested authorization of its COVID-19 vaccine for adolescents with Health Canada, and will file for emergency use authorization with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, for this important, younger age population. Nearly 200,000 Johnson & Johnson vaccine doses will expire June 23 in Ohio, Governor Mike Duena said Monday. For Ohioans who have been waiting to get their vaccine, I urge you to take action now, DeWine said in a news release. Carnival Cruise Line said it will require passengers to have completed their COVID vaccinations two weeks before boarding for the company's first U.S. trips after reopening, departing from Texas in July. As part of its strategy to vaccinate more of its population, Washington state will allow adults to get a free marijuana joint when they receive a shot. Hawaii Governor David Ige on Monday extended an eviction moratorium he implemented during the coronavirus pandemic for another two months, but he doesn't expect to keep it longer than that. Keep refreshing this page for the latest updates. Want more? Sign up for our Coronavirus Watch newsletter for updates to your inbox and join our Facebook group.